Hello everybody, I'm Dr. TJ Rinaldi. This week what I'd like to go over are appropriate heart rate moving zones during exercise. Now there are five tenets to maximize living. Uh, we do go over all of the different ones in, in subsequent videos, um, but what the five keys to maximize living and pulling off this thing we call life really well are begin with limiting and avoiding medications as much as possible because it, it messes with how your body works. Secondly is appropriate nerve supply. Why? Because it's your nerve system that runs all the function and all the healing in your body. Third is what you eat, good nutrition, and a lot of us know about this. Fourth is appropriate exercise. And really what it has to do with is cellular oxygen absorption. Oxygen is actually your most important nutrient. It's your cell's most important food. And so we're going to spend time on that part today. The fifth key is actually peace management, which we'll go over in other videos as well. But getting back to what um, oxygen absorption really involves is how, you, how your heart is working to pump blood through your body to get to each one of the cells. See, it's the red blood cells that carry oxygen to every cell um, of the body. And so there are appropriate moving zones that are important to follow. Many people will start a workout program and they end up actually overtraining and overexerting themselves and feeling like they can't do what's been prescribed for them to do, which really is about 20 to 30 minutes three to four times per week is really all you need to do. And what most people don't realize is that a lower amount of exertion actually helps you better. And so I'd like to go over that. Now the example I'd like to use would be for a 40 year old person, okay? We need to base everything off of a maximum heart rate. Now, to find that number, you would use an arbitrary number of 220. Research shows that 220 minus your age equals what your maximum heart rate would be. So for a 40 year old person, that would be 180 beats per minute, okay? Now, there are three separate moving zones that become important to know where you need to be at in order to utilize exercise appropriately and maximize its benefits, okay? The first zone is actually called the fat utilization rate. Now the fat utilization rate is the zone of beats per minute that your body will actually be burning fat for energy. So this is a very, very valuable zone and actually the most important zone to be in. Now, for the fat utilization rate, you want to be between 55 and 75 percent of that maximum heart rate. Now where is that for a 40 year old person? The number is somewhere between 99 and 135 beats per minute. Somewhere between 99 and 135 beats per minute is the zone that a 40 year old person would need to be in to be utilizing fat cells for most of its energy uh, during that exercise. Now the second zone is called the performance enhancement rate. Now the performance enhancement rate is a zone that everyone should go into, but not a zone that you should be in all the time. You should dip into this zone and then come back down to the fat utilization rate. But in performance enhancement rate, you're going to be between 75 and 85% of your maximum heart rate. So for a 40 year old person, that heart rate is gonna be between 135 and 153 beats per minute. 135 to 153 beats per minute actually increases how well your heart is pumping the blood. It's increasing the performance of how, how well your cardiovascular system gets oxygen to the cells. Now the final zone, and really is, is only a zone that athletes should be dipping into or under certain type of training circumstances would be the sugar utilization rate. Now what this means is that most of the energy that your body is burning to do that type of activity that you're doing is coming from literally simple carbohydrates, sugars, the fastest energy it can get in order to have you perform that activity. Now the sugar utilization rate is anything above 85% of the maximum heart rate. So for a 40 year old person, that's anything more than 153 beats per minute. 
this is the zone that's dangerous. You cannot be exercising the zone for a prolonged period of time because this is where you will do damage to the body, thus creating overtraining. And so I hope these numbers help you out. For any age, you would just subtract it from 220. Use these rules for the fat utilization rate, the performance enhancement rate, and the sugar utilization rate to train properly, lose weight, get better at running, get better at lifting, uh, get better at any daily activity you want to do by maximizing your training. Um, you know what? You can always find more information at MilwaukeeChiro.com. You can find us on Facebook under Milwaukee Chiropractic Group. Uh, please go there and like us and also continue to visit the Dr. T.J. Rinaldi YouTube channel. There's a lot of great information there. Um, welcome you back and uh, have a great rest of your day.